Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 166. Uh, today, the title is Forever One Word versus Forever Two Words. And this is another video where the main difference is between American English and British English. We have different uses of how we use forever. Uh, to get right out of the way, um, forever one word is used for everything in American English. So it's actually simpler or easy. Uh, in American English. Uh, all right, let's take a look here. So both in British and American English, forever as one word means continually or for a long period of time. But if you mean forever, meaning like for always, never ending, uh, then in British English, forever should be two words in that situation. Uh, but here, of course, again, in American English, it would just simply be one word to mean for always. Okay, let's look at the first example where in British English, this would uh, be considered to be wrong. Uh, so here with the X, she takes forever to get ready. I remember forever uh, with two words in British English means for always. Now, you don't really mean that. What you do mean is forever with the one word, mean continually or for a long period of time. So in British English, this first one would be wrong. And again, the correct way would be to say it as one word. Okay, let's look at the next one. That is also wrong. Uh, his wife is forever nagging him. Okay, well, remember, this forever means for always. Again, you don't literally mean for always. But what you do mean is continually or for a long period of time. So, again, in British English, this forever should be one word. Now, of course, forever as two words is always wrong in American English because we just use forever as one word. Okay, and let's continue. Let's look at the example. Of course, in American English, if you say, I will love you forever, it's just one word. But here in British English, if I say, I will love you forever, meaning, you know, forever and ever, never ending, then it should be two words, meaning for always. Okay, and uh, let's just finish it off down here. In American English, you say she is forever complaining, meaning continually for a long period of time. Uh, but here, both in American English and British English, you could say she is forever complaining too. So it's okay for both of them. All right, again, I hope it's clear. Remember, the main difference is British English. British English separates forever. When they mean for always or everlasting, it is two words. If they just mean continually for a long period of time, it's one word. Okay, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope you can see the difference. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.